too from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show on this Sunday, June 8th, 2014. Now in the last segment... Alex is breaking down the globalist plan to take down not only our country, but the entire world. And we've seen this plan unfolding. I want to get your take on it. I want your calls. Uh, that's 877-789-ALEX or 877-789-2539. Now, tomorrow, Alex is going to be talking to Dinesh D'Souza. Of course, he's a filmmaker, documentarian. And he's the one that Obama is trying to put in jail. As his producer said, the same guy who produced uh, Schindler's List said, this administration sees its opponents not as dissenters, but as enemies. If they can't refute you, they try to lock you up. Now, that's uh, the guy who produced the new documentary that Dinesh D'Souza is doing. He produced his uh, previous film, I believe, but he also produced Schindler's List. That's Gerald Mullen. And Dinesh D'Souza is going to be Alex's guest tomorrow when he returns to the radio show live here in Austin for this next week. He's been on vacation the last week or so, a well-deserved vacation. He's going to be back this entire week, all three hours, every day. And he'll also be joined tomorrow with uh, George Humphreys, a guest that he's had on in the past. Very interesting show tomorrow. 
But as I point out, give us your take on what's happening. It's 877-789-ALEX. That's 2539. We've been talking about the planned balkanization of America, the implosion of the economy, the destruction of privacy and due process. We talked about what was going on with the NSA and the courts, as well as the fact that uh, we now are looking at the strong possibility being hinted at by many economists, many financial writers, that negative interest rates that are being talked about by the European Central Bank will be coming to the United States along with cash controls that they've been floating as trial balloons in the European Union as well. You know, when we look at what they're doing to these children in Central and South America, it's much cleverer than what the American government did at the time that they were fighting the American Indians. When they fought the Indians out west, what they did is they conquered these individual tribes, they took their children and shipped them back east to schools, separated them from their families, from their culture, from any roots that they might have in order to make them tied into the American government in a way that they never would be if they weren't separated from their children, if they weren't educated in isolation by the state. Now they're much more clever about it. That was done by force. Now what they're doing is they're doing it by incentive. They've gone into these third world countries, as we pointed out, destroyed the economy, and Hugo Chavez's socialist utopia uh, the bankers get 700% return on their investment, and the people there don't get water and medicine because, of course, Barclays brags that they're going to pay their sovereign debt before the people get to eat. That's what socialism does for you. That's how it works hand in glove with the globalist agenda. Now, as Alex was just saying, the globalists are stepping up their endgame. They're getting close. They're, we're seeing that much of their plan is working. We need to fight back against that, but we also need to fight back individually to take care of our own families, to take care of ourselves. There are certain things that we can do. One of those is to support our sponsor for this hour, My Patriot Supply. And the day is coming when America, the America that we know and love, will then be a distant memory. But patriots everywhere are getting prepared, and they're doing it with one of my favorite companies, MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com offers high-quality survival gear and is the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage that's delicious, easy to prepare, put together with GMO-free crops, storable for up to 25 years, and My Patriot Supply has developed space-saving and secure food storage bins, unlike flimsy plastic pails that you find almost everywhere else. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex today for special offers. That's MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. The globalists are coming, and you, can, and you need to be prepared. Fight back and get prepared at MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex today. And we've got a couple of calls here. Let's go to Fred in Pennsylvania. Fred? David. Yes, David, can go you ahead. Hear me? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I want to talk about the, uh, the, Ch the Chinese long-term plan of moving populations, hen population, which is what China, uh, the Chinese ethnic group is into five areas. Uh, Manchuria is really the homeland of the Manchus. They're not Han. Uh, the Xinjiang region, or Uyghur region, the Tibetan region, um, both Eastern and Western Tibet, uh, Mongolia. They, they, uh, they use secrecy, and the whole 20th century they've been moving into areas where they may claim land, but also these these other these other lands have had nationalist movement, long-standing nationalist movements, even going back centuries. And Russia never really uh, was willing to oppose them because they also like to colonize those areas. So that I Western think China was uh, invaded by a lot of Russian. That's right. I think a lot of people uh, don't realize just how segmented China is. You know, there's a lot of different languages there. Most people, there's a lot of Chinese who don't speak Mandarin. When we adopted our daughter from China, uh, we got her from the southern part of China where they speak uh, what we call Cantonese. And uh, as we moved her around, there were a lot of people who couldn't understand anything she was saying. Of course, we couldn't either. But they have a lot of different dialects is the point. And it's very easy for them to pit one group against another when you have that kind of a situation. It leads to a balkanization. That's one of the things that concerns me about bringing in so many people from South America. You know, it's, it's when you bring in different cultures and different language groups, it's very easy for them to pit those groups against each other. As Alex pointed out when we were talking about the 25th anniversary of Tiananmen Square, 
the Chinese brought in troops from other areas who didn't speak the language, who considered themselves to be different in many ways, culturally or whatever, even though they may look the same to us, even though we don't understand either language or we think they're somewhat homogeneous. They brought in these other groups in order to suppress the demonstrators there. That's what's so dangerous about this is the kind of balkanization. But go ahead. Well, well David, David, can I just say that the, they're using the, the language, uh, they're using the phrase ethnic minorities when in fact, uh, either now or until very recently, these homelands have had ethnic majorities of those, of those other non-Chinese people. So th they're, they're using this propaganda of saying, well, we're providing for these ethnic minorities. These, these areas do not have those, those populations as a minority. It's, it's the Chinese that are a minority in a lot of cases. And what they do is they just will invade and colonize and 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 move in until they become a minority. But during that during that initial period, they have a, a complete secrecy clamp down. Have you ever heard of any kind of Uyghur media or Tibetan media or Manchu media or Mongolian media? Well, that's true. Or, or that's why it is so vitally important for us to keep our media alive and to not allow. The government to gain control of the internet through these kinds of corporate maneuvers that we see happening through the FCC. They now want to, they've given signals that they want to try to control content and uh, the fact that they're going to use net neutrality, that's going to be in a very effective way, especially once Comcast has its merger with the number two uh, internet provider, that's going to create a giant corporation, if the FCC allows it, that could then leverage this uh, net neutrality where people have to pay in order to get uh, a reasonable internet speed, that's going to be a very chilling effect on free speech and on the creation of new media. As you say, there's no Tibetan media that we hear anywhere. There's not going to be any new bloggers coming up. That's the thing we've loved about the internet is that someone can rise up. They can come up with their content. And if it's compelling content, if it's original content, they've had a level playing field. That's what they want to destroy with the coming net neutrality. Thank you so much for the call. Let's go to uh, Zach in Wisconsin. Zach? Hey, David. I just wanted uh, to make a quick point about these illegal immigrants. Um, they're not, not, not just coming into the United States you know, to destroy our economy. I think the globalists are sending them in to also destroy our civil liberties. I mean, we can see that with the uh, Fourth Amendment free zones along the border. Yes. And um, I'm looking at a Huffington Post um, article right here that says Hispanics are way less likely to own guns than blacks or whites. And so when they vote on, oh, we need more firearm restrictions, then Hispanics are just going to vote along, you know, the globalist agenda line. Yes, absolutely. If they cut off, if these children come in and they're raised in the in American schools by the government and they have no idea of our heritage, they're not going to value it. We'll be right back with more of your this calls. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports, or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listener to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years, and I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars, and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news, backed up by documents Fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in 
online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with Super Male Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made